Alright, so I had a question that was posed to me, not on the channel, but via like one of my other routes of communicating with you guys. Um, and it was in response to the video that I did like two videos ago when I was talking about the outlook on the profession in terms of jobs. And it was asked like, how can we as pre-PA students slash PA students once we're in PA school and about to graduate, how can we kind of like guarantee that we get a job out of PA school? And so that's what this video is going to be about. What's up you guys, sit down and welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited first and foremost because we just started our new series where I am talking about all the various different PA schools that are out there and we're going over it like kind of like an in-depth look at their website and things that you guys should be looking at and paying attention to if you really wanna to apply to those schools. So if you are new and you haven't heard about that, like the first thing that you should be doing is subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you can know exactly when that video comes out. But it it will be every Tuesday I'll be going over a new school um, and it looks like Yale's online program is what's winning out like this week so I might jump the schools because typically I would just go in alphabetical order but um, I might be doing Yale's on Tuesday okay so stay tuned um, and if you don't want to see Yale and you want to see another school you still have a couple days to <laughs> kind of sway my decision on that so um, comment in the comment section below what school you'd like to see next but with that being said, um, like I said, I'm going to be talking specifically about like how you can essentially guarantee yourself a job. Now, obviously, there's no true guarantee. So I just want to give you that disclaimer, like nothing that I say is going to absolutely guarantee that you get a job, but it will highly increase your chances of securing yourself a job right out of PA school. Um, I keep getting the, asked this question a lot about like, you know, how did I get into trauma or why did I choose trauma? And like the legit reason is trauma chose me. Um, I did my rotations at the hospital that I currently work at and I did a lot of my rotations there. Like I spent a good seven months there, I would say. And so I got to know the people, I got to know the staff, I got to know the hiring director. So I had to talk to him on a consistent basis when setting up these rotations. And so with that being said, that kind of gave me like a leg in in terms of when it was time for me to graduate and now look for a job. They were hiring for PAs of various different specialties and I was like, yeah, you know, why not? Why, why not? apply because when it comes to securing a job for PAs after PA school it's about applying you don't put all your eggs in one basket just like how you wouldn't do that for applying to PA programs you're not gonna do the same for applying for jobs you may have a bunch of jobs that you or specialties that you're kind of interested in that you think oh, okay you know what I feel like I can work there I think that's kind of cool I might be able to work there. Uh, and then you have like your top notch, uh, you know, the specialties that you really want to be in. And so you look for jobs in all of those areas and you see what bites. Now, I think a lot of what like some people kind of get into trouble with is being like extremely picky or um, being like a little greedy, you know, like you're a new grad and you want a certain amount of money and you're not like or you want more money and, and you're not willing to compromise and so for me i know a lot of what i did was i did research prior to coming with like my rebuttals for my job offers because i wanted to make sure that i was being treated like equitably equitably, I guess you could say, um, in terms of my salary. So I looked at the salary report that APA puts out every year, and I looked at what like new grad PAs were getting in the various different areas and the different specialties. I looked at like that average amount, and I saw how it lined up with some of the offers that I was getting. And yeah, some of those offers were pretty low, like low balls, and some were like right on par, and some were slightly higher. And I can't lie that some of that like d really did play a part on my decision on what job I was going to choose because 
you've been in PA school for a few years, you've spent all this money and now you're graduating and you have loans to pay, you have a family to take care of, or you just have yourself to take care of. And you know, you want to like reap the benefits of all of the hard work that you've done. And so with that being said, you want to make sure that you're being like compensated adequately. So I think it's important for you all to do your research prior in terms of understanding exactly what, uh, offer should be and then secondly how to secure slash guarantee your your position is by building those bridges now i've talked about this like consistently you know we have to build bridges where we're doing these rotations you know ask around talk and say hey would you be interested in having a pa like do you do you have like the capacity to bring on a PA if um, I were to be interested in a position here or are you going to have any positions open? Uh, that's another thing that you want to think about. If you can choose when your rotation is or like kind of move around a rotation, I know some of it is kind of like planned out specifically for you and you can't make any changes. But if you have like an elective towards the end, make it an elective in an area that you actually want to practice and at a location that you actually want to practice because then that way you are that much closer to graduating and so they don't have to wait 10 months or you know six months for you to graduate and then another month for you to take your boards and hear back versus you know waiting two months um and and not having to spill fill that space within two months so first and foremost look at where you are are trying to practice and build those bridges there make sure that those rotations that you are on you are like making a really good impression i'm always like a great um advocate for when you are leaving you make sure that you send thank you notes or leave thank you notes let them know how appreciative you were of the opportunity to rotate at their facility because they didn't have to they didn't have to take you okay and then uh uh, just make sure that you're able to stay uh, connected. So what I did was I left my business card. I made business cards and a thank you note. And in those business cards, I left like my name, um, you know, my email address, like uh, my contact information. Um, I left my uh, the thank you note and the fact that, hey, I am interested in a position here and should one open up, I can absolutely provide references upon request. Um, and I put all of that in the, like a nice little package and I left it for every single rotation that I was on. Uh, and once you're building those relationships and you're getting like, you know, physical position advocates with you on board with you to be like, yeah, you know, she was a great student or he was a great student. These are the things that will help facilitate you getting a job straight out of PA school, okay? So hopefully that makes sense for you all. Um, I do want to say like quickly before I make my last point, uh, it is going to, it's PA week, you guys. So like October 6th is the start of PA week. So really excited about that. That will be the day um, that I'm actually doing, I believe so. Let me just check and make sure. Uh, no, so it's the day after. So I'll make this announcement again, but that the day after I do the, the video on the school, we will, we will be the start of PA week. So if you're interested in being a PA, like learn about PA week, get on Instagram, you know, follow the PA Instagram influencers, I guess you could say, um, so that you can be a part of like what's going on. Um, but it is going to be PA week. So stay tuned to that. But just to wrap this up for you guys. Okay, yes, the outlook that I posed earlier looked a little bleak um, in terms of the number of jobs that would be available, but you know, boomers are, are retiring. Um, a lot of those boomers are physicians, um, so they're retiring. There's going to be a large diaspora of physicians, and there's going to be a gap to fill, and that's where your APPs like PAs and NPs come into play. So if you're interested in primary care and just becoming, you know, more um, available, I guess you can say, in terms of that PA scope for, like, primary care, urgent care, like, emergency medicine area, um, 
we're dealing as a generalist, like definitely, definitely don't let like some of these predictions, I guess you could say, scare you because sometimes they're wrong. Like the meteorologists aren't always right, right? So it's the same thing. These predictions aren't always right, but you can set yourself up in such a way that you actually have a good outlook in terms of the job outlook for yourself as a PA student and that's by building those bridges not breaking them down um, you know staying in connection and in contact with the, these relationships that you build and just making a good impression on your rotations okay all right thank you guys so much for this question um, I think it was Kennedy who asked that question to me uh, like a while ago on one of my pre PA talks so thank you so much for that question Kennedy hopefully this answers you guys' questions um, if you have any comments for me leave them in the comment section below uh, you know hip hip hooray for PA week and PA day coming up October 6th uh, definitely stay tuned for that join me back on Tuesday when I will be talking about the next school and we'll be going over that live where you can answer your questions uh, ask your questions to me live and I'll answer them as well um, you know I think that's it uh, follow me on Instagram at Adam the PA and on Instagram at get that city university don't forget to subscribe like do all those things thank you guys so much for watching I will talk to you guys next time bye <laughs> what was that bye there we go bye guys <laughs>